One of the greatest things about MMOs is the community. And when it comes to Lost Ark, that ball has been rolling for years. Hey there, friends, it's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming. Today, I'm sharing a ton of great resources that will help you maximize your time with the game and allow you to truly experience everything Lost Ark has to offer. My good friend Sojourner EO helped me put this video together because we both thought it would be a good idea to share valuable resources like spreadsheets and handy infographics with everyone looking to play this game. Whether you're playing Lost Ark for the first time or jumping into the NAEU release, something in this video is going to be a game changer for you. I'm confident of that. Of course, we've left handy links to everything down below and tried to split up this video using chapters so that it's easy to navigate and provides a ton of value. First, I think it's important to recognize some of the content creators specifically on YouTube that have been part of the Lost Ark community for years. Many of you already know these people, but honestly, they deserve recognition for their hard work, helping pave the way for players like myself and Livid who experienced Lost Ark for the very first time back in 2021. Sadly, we can't name everyone that's made an impact and made a Lost Ark video, or we'd be here for quite a while, but there are some stellar creators that have put in the work and continue to make this community a better place. First up, of course, is Saiwo. When it comes to passion and knowledge of this game, it's hard to find an equal. In every video he releases, it's clear that his passion for Lost Ark is boundless. And whether it's tips and tricks, a news update, or him just talking about the game with his community, it's clear if Lost Ark had a bannerman, it would be Saiwo. In terms of guide makers, well, there are a few, but Wilkie, Hi I'm Fox, and Ben Lee Gaming all come to the top of my mind. When I was first figuring out this game, I checked out a number of their videos to help improve my own knowledge base, and they continue to impress me with each and every video they put out. Each has their own style, and that's going to resonate with different types of people. But again, the information they're able to remember and put into video format is impressive, and three great examples of members of the community who are helping improve player knowledge base across the board. Speaking of knowledge, I truly don't think there is anyone on the same level as Santone. His combination, written guides, and video content is just jam-packed with information. If you're a nuts and bolts type of player that wants information and a lot of it, he is absolutely top tier. Everyone, and I mean everyone in the Lost Ark community, knows Saint, and for good reason. His guides have helped hundreds of thousands, if not millions, grasp both simple and complex concepts about this game, and his efforts to help bridge the gap between the Korean community and the English-speaking community have helped make him one of the top creators in the entire space. There are also a number of great creators out there that add a little fire into their presentation, and they're awesome at what they do, and have managed to straddle that line between being entertaining, informative, and accessible. Three that immediately come to mind are Stoops, Canon, and Zeal Ambitions. Again, their knowledge base is off the charts, and if you want to learn something about the game, these are three creators that know their craft, but they also create content that's easy to watch, something that's not always easy to do with a dense system-based game like Lost Ark. I don't know too much about their backgrounds, but every time I stumble onto one of their videos, whether it be about news, hype, or something else entirely, I can't help but stick around and watch. To wrap up this section, I want to shout out a small creator who knows a ton about this game, but just hasn't blown up yet, Shendamon. I watched nearly every one of his videos when I was first getting into Lost Ark, and seriously, he knows his stuff inside and out, presents info in a clear way, and just is an overall great content creator. Seriously, go show him some love and subscribe. You will not regret it. Again, I can't shout out everyone. There are just too many creators in this space, and I'm sure new ones will pop up with the NAEU launch. Remember, no matter how big or small, people are dedicating tons of time out of their lives to bring you all information and content. And trust me when I say, Every like, every new subscriber is appreciated. I get it, videos aren't for everyone, and that's what I want to talk about in this next section, online resources that are not only informative, but damn near essential sometimes. If you're new to Lost Ark, there's no better place to start than St. Tone's big old guide to the game. He's put out a number of these comprehensive documents, and let me just say, they are essential reading. Whether it's a game system you want to learn more about, or a progression path that you need help understanding, it's all outlined in what he calls the Lost Ark Bible. There are a few versions floating around, one for the Korean version of the game, and one that's updated for the NAU release. But seriously, this is a guide worth bookmarking and coming back to when you need clarity on a topic. If you're just starting to explore islands within the game, then you need to check out Mello's Island Companion Guide. 
this is the perfect straightforward guide to help you figure out which island is worth exploring. It's nothing fancy, but it doesn't need to be. You get the name of the island, the quest or activity associated with that island, and the reward. What else do you need? Another resource I can't recommend enough is the Lost Ark Daily Checklist made by ABC. This is a great interactable spreadsheet that can help you manage your daily and weekly endgame tasks. If you're a visual person that doesn't want to track everything on a piece of paper, simply go to the link below, make a copy for your own Google Drive, and use the tracker yourself. You might need to fiddle with it a bit, but the foundation is there. A resource that just popped up recently on the Lost Ark subreddit is Alondrian's visual flowchart for progression. Now, I am a visual learner. Tools like this are wildly helpful when it comes to wrapping my head around complex ideas like the progression path to T3. Unlike the other resources we've talked about, this flowchart takes you every step of the way, bringing you through each tier, clearly outlining what you need to do and presenting you with additional visual aids to help improve your knowledge base. It's a great tool, one that I think a fair number of you will find value in. The last online resource I want to mention is OmniPower's Lost Art Class Breakdown. This is a decent tool if you want to learn more about a specific class and the engravings that go alongside those classes. The best thing about this compendium is the collaboration with other content creators that help really fill it out as a complete top to bottom look at all the classes within the game. On top of information, there are also links to class specific guides and videos for both PvE, PvP, raids, just so much more. Again, there are other resources out there, so if you have one you like and you want to share it with the community, go ahead and leave a link to it in the comment section below. Let folks know what it is though, or you'll most likely get flagged as spam. Outside of spreadsheets and Google Docs, there are a few incredible websites that you need to know about if Lost Ark is a game you plan on sticking with long term. One that everyone in the community knows is Papunica. This is a big collection of data, wiki entries, and guides, and one of the most prominent resources across the entire Lost Ark community. While it doesn't always go in great detail to explain a system, it provides you essential snapshots of nearly everything in the game, which is valuable to players that are just starting out. Papunica also features some of the best interactable resources, such as a build planner, which is an awesome tool if you want to perfect your build while away from the game, as well as information about all of the different collectible systems. The site also features a huge interactable map which lets you visit every region of the world and see Makoko seed locations and other important information. Across the board, this site is just a great resource, one that I keep coming back to time and time again. If you like written guides, then Max Roll is most likely going to be your vibe. This is a website that primarily focused on Diablo content up until recently, branching out to allow specific content creators to add Lost Ark content. Much like Papunica, there's a lot of variety on this site, but the highlights are the build guides, which are incredibly in-depth, clean, and often break down into leveling and endgame guides, raid guides for all of the various guardian raids in Abyssal Dungeons, as well as a handy list pointing players towards other resources and guides written about the various systems within the game. Another site that's been around for a while is Loawa, and I apologize if I totally botched that. This is primarily a tool used for players on the Korean servers, but it's a great database that pulls useful information from the game and makes it searchable. If you want to know what engravings the top players in the world are using for a particular class, well, you can do that. Loawa also brings that rolling calendar and pipes it online so you can see when bosses are available or see when specific islands are coming online. It's an all around great tool made better by the fact that the creator of the website has already said they're working on making it more user friendly for English speakers because of the NAEU launch and are looking for input from an entirely new audience to make the site better. There are some other sites I think everyone should know about, including LostArcMap.com, which is a huge interactable map of the entire world, Lost Ark Planner, which has some nice visuals if you want to plan out a build outside of the game, Lost Ark Hive, which is another nice collection of data, guides, and also features an awesome model viewer, and Lost Ark Codex, a more robust database-driven site mined from the client. It features a clean, easy-to-use interface as well as a decent skill builder. I want to end with maybe some obvious resources, but ones I think are important for everyone to bookmark. I'm talking, of course, about official information. Lost Ark has its own NAU website, which the team has used to post a number of blog articles leading up to launch. Apart from Twitter, which is often just pushing to the website, this is where most of the official information will be, and likely the future home of important updates and patch notes. The Lost Ark forums are another official, albeit outdated, method of communication. 
The real benefit here is that Roxanne, the game's community manager, has often broke news here or helped clear up confusion about various system-related issues ahead of launch. I imagine this will still be the case post-launch, which is why it's worth keeping an eye on. Finally, and this may only be a launch-specific thing, so if you're watching this well past launch, you might be out of luck, is Legends of Lost Ark. This is a community event that pits three teams of 20 streamers against each other to benefit the entire community. Creators all have different objectives, and by completing these objectives on stream, they gain points for their team, which unlocks various different drops on Twitch. While not exactly a resource, this is going to be a fun event that features some really cool rewards, like cosmetic hats, a phoenix pet, and a hoverboard mount. If you've played an MMO before, you already know, this is just the tip of the iceberg, and once Lost Ark goes global, the number of resources, guides, and handy tools are going to double, if not triple. If you're someone that's interested in learning more about any of the things we talked about today, don't forget to check out the description of this video where I've linked everything. I also want to invite you all to join us on Discord. If you've got questions, we've got over 5,000 Lost Ark players ready to help out, as well as handy PvE and PvP resource channels where we post the best and most useful tools we can find. Of course, if you want to be part of one of the largest Lost Ark guilds in North America, come join Legacy Gaming. Stretched across 25 different satellite guilds, our ranks are always open and willing to accept new members. Finally, if you like everything we're doing here at Legacy Gaming and you want to help us out even more, you can do so by becoming a member. For just a few bucks, you're helping Liv and I achieve our dreams of being full-time content creators. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.